Well, 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 don't adjust your screens. Phil Mitchell hasn't joined the West Ham Network. I've just had a haircut. Let's talk about the David Moyes press conference and Kurt Zuma press conference ahead of the game tomorrow against Leverkusen. <laughs> Yes, everybody, Russell and West Ham Network. Hope you're safe and well. A little bonus video. Lucky buggers. Um, don't forget, we've got uh, Budgie, old school um, hammers on tonight. Budgie and Kieran. Jamie is on is on club duty. He's out <laughs> He's out in Leverkusen working with the club. Another one. Another one. We, we've, we've got promoted to the West Ham uh, social media team. But anyway, he'll be out there. Hopefully, he'll be able to get some footage. Uh, which he'll be sending to us, which we'll put up of being in and around. But he's uh, currently doing all their stuff on on the Instagram, on the gram. But David Moyes has just finished his press conference in Germany ahead of the game tomorrow. Um, as always with the European games, don't forget, it's not just a player, it's not just the manager, but a player as well. The player was our captain, Kurt Zuma, with a very short press conference. I'm sure there's some more questions which haven't been announced just yet. But let's get into it. Let's talk about Kurt. He was asked about, obviously, the game coming up about Leverkusen. He said it will be the toughest challenge yet. They haven't lost for a long time. 41 games, Kurt. And we know how well they've played this season, but we are still confident. We know the qualities we have. And we showed that against Freiburg at home, not away. Um, it's two legs and hopefully we get a good result tomorrow. Hopefully we shall, Kurt. Asked about him being a captain, what it means to him. It's a huge honour for me, especially leading the team in the Europa League. It's something I would never um, happen, uh, would have happened to me. Meow. Um, to lead such a great group makes me very proud. I've been through a lot of ups and downs. Meow. Like everyone, my teammates and coaches throughout my career have helped me and I think all of that has helped me to get where I am today. And then I think the last question was about the approach. What approach will West Ham take? We always play to win. Okay. We know we might be missing some key players. We'll talk about that with David Moyes' bit in a minute. But we have a good squad and we'll all give 100%. But according to Kurt Zuma, we play to win. Okay. We're not going to have. We're not going to ask for the draw. We're not going to to Moyes' boy. We're going to play to win. Of course we are, Kurt. Of course we are, mate. Um, and that was it. That was Kurt's bit. He only had three questions, and then Moyes had a shitload of questions. To be honest, um, team news. Let's start with team news now. We'll talk about Jared Bowen, but there is a miss. There, you know, in all seriousness, there's a, a big miss in terms of team for uh, for tomorrow. Um, Maybe a bit unexpected, in all honesty. Um, but Calvin Phillips has picked up a problem and will be missing tomorrow. When it rains, it pours. When it rains, it fucking pours. Anyway, so that's the only team news. The only team news about, uh, we know Jared hasn't travelled, um, so Jared will not be. Uh, will not be in the match day squad. He was actually asked about Jared Bowen in a bit more detail, slightly bit more meat on the bones. Um, he isn't with us. He's twisted his knee and there's some sort of damage, which goes against everything we've heard. We heard it was a back problem. Um, so clearly someone doesn't know what's going on, whether it's all the ITKs who have said he's got a bruised spine um, or Moyes doesn't know what's going on. Um, we can't give any dates on when he will be back, unfortunately. So it might be a case, it might not be a case that he'll be fit for the game um, against Leverkusen next week um, with a knee injury um, rather than a back. You think with a back, you might get be able to have played, but clearly it's, it's a knee injury, not a back problem. Or, or maybe it's a bit of both. Who knows? But he walked off the pitch Okay, but sometimes that doesn't necessarily... That's almost like the worst because it's like an impact. Uh, don't forget Aaron Cress. Do you remember Cress was out for months and we didn't know what was going on? So a little bit worrying there, but uh, we have to move forward. We have to look ahead. Um, asked about... Um, he, he got asked about lots of players, and so I've, I've collected them all together because he was just plenty of lovings for a number of players of the first team squad. Asked about Alvarez. Obviously, he'll be missing, um, but he'll be back for the next game. Uh, obviously suspended. 
he will be a big miss because he's an important player, but we'll have to manage. Um, and we will. Uh, ask about Paqueta. He's hugely important for us and he's been an important part of the for a good period of time for us. I've said many times that he makes you pull your hair out sometimes, especially me. Look at me. I mean, look, look, I mean, look, this is what Lucas Paqueta's done to me. Um, but when he's at his best, he's brilliant. He, he's got some individual ability you don't see very often. Um, I don't think that's a slight. I think, you know, you don't see that often in play. It's not, he's got good ability, but you never see it. He's got, a, which, you know what I mean? You know, um, and he's a great player. Certainly is asked about who else was he asked about? He was asked about Caduce as well. Uh, he's a young boy. He's new to the Premier League, but he's done really well because of the experience he's had in different countries. I think he's had a better coverage than some other players and that's helped him do so well. I think he's still got a lot of development to come, but he's doing really well. Interesting, you know, in terms of Moyes thinking that he's still got, there's still more in the tank for Caduce, which is very encouraging. Moving ahead to tomorrow, um, asked about sort of the, the challenge ahead. Um, very similar to Kurt, really, in terms of his response. Um, Moyes sees it as a great opportunity. He had a good run in Europe and played a lot of good teams. And tomorrow we play another one. Hopefully we can hopefully we can rise to the challenge and perform well. Ever, ever the optimist, hopefully we can rise to the challenge. But it's okay because according to Kurt Zuma, we are playing to win. Um Anyway, asked about Leverkusen. He simply said, both teams have 11 players. <laughs> Brilliant. Brilliant. Now, you can see why you wait for one as a, has him as a technical advisor, to be honest. Um, so it's an even game at the start. We know Leverkusen are a very good team, but we believe in our abilities. Um, asked about the progress of the club. Uh, we've been on a really good run over the last few years, so we're not coming here with our expectation um uh expectancy rather um uh, we've expected we've done very well in europe over the last three years we're looking forward to the game it'll be difficult but there are two legs and we'll be hopeful <laughs> so hopefully we turn up hopeful over two legs it's not sounding promising is it to be honest um asked about west ham's character the team character now, clearly going into a game where the odds are stacked with us, obviously against us, obviously, you know, 41 games un- <laughs> unbeaten without Jared Bowen, without Alvarez, without Calvin Phillips, Paqueta, Emerson on yellow cards as well. One more yellow card and they'll be suspended for the second leg. It's about the character of the team and asked directly about it. He says, we have character. And it's probably a bit about me as well. <laughs> All about you, David. We need leadership, composure and tactical understanding in this tie against a team who are undefeated, unbeaten in 41. So we need to try and handle that. Leadership, composure and ta- tactical understanding. You've heard it. That's what we need for tomorrow. And then that was it. That was the Dave Moyes press conference. That was it. Um, we'll be having all the starting 11 shows I'll be doing the watch along tomorrow no need for any subtitles Anton he ha- is having a watch along party around his dad's around Big Jim's house so no need for subtitles tomorrow peeps um, and yeah that's it hope you have a great rest of the evening take care stay safe if you're travelling over there if you're already over there stay safe obviously enjoy it have, have a beer apparently they're well known for beer in Germany and sausages so enjoy. Have a uh, curry versed on me. Uh, take care. Stay safe. Stay warm. Stay humble. Keep the faith. Come on, you bloody irons. <laughs>